Hey hi, this is Admin from Admin365 and today we are going to talk about how to prevent users from getting spoofed in Office 365 environment. What we are going to do in this video is we will create a mail flow rule. Basically, it's a transport rule created in the Exchange Admin Center that will help us if we get a lot of spoofing email, I would recommend to have this rule created on your tenant. So let's get started. Before we start the topic, a small introduction about me. I currently work as Microsoft 365 Support Ambassador for Microsoft. Our day-to-day -day routine is to take care of service requests created around Microsoft 365 products and services. So please do consider subscribing for exclusive content and the resolutions for common issues with Office 365. And let's resume the topic. We'll go to office.com, sign in with the admin email address and password. We'll click on the admin tile here. We'll open this page. You just have to click on show all and that will list all the admin centers here. And you have to click on exchange. It will open a new exchange admin center. And uh, we can just skip this admin center and click on classic exchange admin center here at the bottom. And that will open this tab. That will open this page and as you can see we are under mail flow and rules so this is a place where we can create transport rule all the rules created here affect the entire tenant and not just one user we can create it specifically for some user but we can also implement it for the entire tenant We'll click on the plus sign we'll click on create a new rule and we'll give it a name and uh, we'll click on more options gives additional options and then we will select this if the sender is external internal what we will select is outside the organization as a first condition so if the sender is located outside the organization We'll add a condition and and the message header. Basically, uh, every email has a header and uh, it has a from field in it. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a header and that will check the from field and the display name besides it. It will go something like this. You just have to click on a message header here includes any of these words and here we'll add the from and hit ok and here we'll add the person in the organization whom we want to protect for example CEO this will be replaced by the name of the person so for example Philip, for example, it he is a CEO of my org. So what I will do is we will add any possibility of the words or any combination of the words that can look like he is sending the message. For example, Philip. Philip with last name. Philip with capital initials of the last name and as you can see you can add multiple combination in here and after you set it up uh, you can give it a test so for uh, now we will go ahead and save this the action now so after it detects this kind of message what it has to do is we can redirect we can block we can add recipient what i will suggest is to redirect the message to the hosted quarantine so uh, you can revisit the quarantine and check the message there 
and uh, if it is safe so you can go ahead and release it for the user but if it is not then it can stay in the quarantine and can get deleted automatically so uh, let's revisit the rule so it basically states that uh, if the sender is located outside the organization and the message header includes the from field with the name name which we have added here uh, do the following is to deliver the message to the quarantine so there you go uh, we can go ahead and hit save after you save it you can give it a test or what i will suggest is instead of creating the rule right away for the ceo for the testing purpose you being an admin you can create a rule protecting yourself and then you can try with your personal email for example a gmail id hotmail or yahoo id you can try sending a message to your account or any one of the users within the organization and check the behavior if it has the same from field which we have added in the spoofing rule it will detect it and it will send it to the quarantine and as i mentioned you can edit the rule anytime you want to protect multiple people you just have to come back here and click on include and includes click on the name and go ahead and add number of people whom you want to protect and add the from field here if you have noticed uh, the capital and the small has been combined into one so earlier we had four entries and now we only see three as the one was small p for the fillet you can add small caps that's fine just do make sure that you include all the words in here and give it a test if it works for you then you can make it live for all the ceo but please do give it a test before you do that and there you go if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and you have a nice day